Hi, this is G Forrest. I'm a Skull Admiral, level 50, in Helldivers, and I'm here to give you 10 tips that you need to know. Tip 1. Complete the personal order. This is an easy way to get medals to help you purchase weapons and gear you will need. Tip 2. Match weapons loadout to the enemy. Since I'm going against the automatons, my two choices are the Last 16 Sickle or the Plaz 1 Scorcher. The Last 16 Sickle is my new favorite for its fire rate of 750 and very little recoil. It will also suppress the automatons, which can be useful. Unlimited ammo is another perk. The Plaz 1 Scorcher is another good choice with its explosive rounds. It can handle striders and medium targets better, but lacks ammo capacity. This mission I will go with the Last 16 Sickle. Match armor to the mission. Since I'm going solo against the automatons, I'm not looking to engage them unless absolutely necessary. I will choose the SC-37 Legionnaire Light Armor with Servo-Assisted Armor Passive, which increases throwing range by 30%. This means I can throw the stratagems into the bases with a better chance of not being detected. The strike takes out the base, and I'm on to the next objective without engaging in a prolonged firefight. Tip number four, pick the right stratagems. This is a blitz mission, which means I don't have a lot of time to complete the objectives. So I want to be as efficient as possible. My stratagems will be Shield Backpack to protect me from multiple fire angles the automatons create. Grenade Launcher to take out fabricators and groupings of enemies as well as striders. 120mm HE Barrage to help complete my personal order. Normally I would go with an orbital laser as it is very efficient for taking out bases and clearing areas. Finally, I will bring in the trusty Eagle Airstrike, again for a quick way to take out bases and groups of enemies. My booster will be stamina to go along with the mobility of the light armor. Tip number five, use macros to quickly call in stratagems. This will help you when you are under duress. Tip number six, throw in strikes from a distance. This way you can avoid detection to destroy the base before they know what hit them. Tip number seven, use cover to break sight as soon as possible. Use the terrain and foliage, as well as smoke pods on the ground. Once you hit cover or smoke pods, quickly change directions, either left or right, because if you keep running straight, the automatons will they'll keep shooting at you in the last direction they saw you. Tip number eight, don't keep running straight away from the enemy. If you're being shot at, try moving sideways or perpendicular to the enemy, as they are not great at leading their shots. Tip number nine, use stealth. Crouching and going prone, especially behind cover, will help you avoid detection. This is useful to allow your stratagems that are on cooldown to become available, or you can resupply and you can plan your next move. Tip number 10, use the power of Pelican 1. Once you call in the extraction, you can move to the edge of the extraction zone until you get to the outside extraction zone warning. Then move back into the zone Beautiful. until just before Pelican 1 arrives. If you do it right, Pelican 1 will hover Bad. over the landing zone and request Helldivers to get to the extraction zone. All the while, firing its 40mm cannons and no, taking out enemies. So. <laughs> this allows you to search for more samples if you haven't found all that you want while Pelican 1 continues to take out enemies. Return to the extraction zone when you're ready and Pelican 1 will land and you can extract. I learned this by accident when I was too far from the extraction area just as the shuttle arrived. If you got anything from this video, please like as it helps me spread democracy to YouTube viewers. Also, what other tips have you discovered? I would like to hear about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. For democracy!